Mark chapter 4 and Mark's biography of Jesus that we're looking at a little bit together in this time leading up to, to Easter on April 12th. Uh, in Mark chapter 4, Jesus tells a story of a farmer. So any of my farmers send me a like or a comment, share this, all my farmer friends. But he tells the story of this farmer who's sowing seed. It's called the parable of the sower. And he says that the seed that the farmer's spreading uh, lands on four different types of soil. And the first is the path. It's just, you know, where people walk and the soil is hard and packed. And he said, uh, the second is rocky soil in which there's lots of things. And, and the depth of the soil isn't, isn't there for roots, uh, for the harvest, for the, the, the crop to develop roots. And so it's very short lived what grows there. And he says there's thorns. There's soil that has thorns among it and weeds. And, and that's the soil that when the, the seeds grow up, the, the thorns, the weeds choke it out and kill the crop. And he says there's good soil that the farmer puts the seed uh, on. And, and that's the soil that we all would, you know, drive by a farm in the Midwest and see is good soil. And, and there's a crop and there's a crop that produces a harvest. And, and he says in this story in, in Mark 4, is that you and I, when we tell uh, the world about Jesus, when the gospel is the seed, the message of Jesus, and in this COVID-19 crazy world we're in right now, friends, that's a lot of us are turning to God and the faith and we're asking questions and we're, we're wrestling with things or we have time that we didn't have a month ago. And, and what I want to ask you to think about, what kind of soil is your heart? When this is all over, What's going to be the result for you of this look of faith, of this, this thought of God and Jesus that you had not had in a long time, or this engagement with him and, his, and through our church or, or some other church or Bible teaching? What's it going to look like when it's, when it's back to normal? Well, I think that's what's going to reveal the, the status of your heart, your soil. What, what God's doing, he's planting seeds right now in your life and in my life. And am I going to be rocky and, and not very deep? It, am I going to let, as Jesus said, the worries of this life, the, the deceitfulness of wealth, when that comes back, is that thorn going to choke out what God's doing today? Or is my heart, my soul going to be good soil? I think it can be. I don't think it's stuck. I think you get to decide. And, and how you choose to react to this time what you choose to do with your time, whether you're on the front lines and you're uh, taking care of people at, at a hospital, our local hospital or, is full of heroes right now. And they're coming home just exhausted. Some of us, we wish we had a job right now. It ended. Some of us were just kind of in the middle. We're trying to work at home with teenagers or, or kids, little kids, and we're just trying to figure out a new normal. Some of you work in grocery stores and you're putting yourself at risk to make sure the rest of us have food we can come get. I mean, we're in all different places. And the question is, when it's all over, what's going to have happened in your heart? Is what God is doing right now, is it going to be short? Because your heart is kind of shallow and you're just turning to him in a crisis. Or, or, or is it the worries of normal life are going to choke it out when they're back? Or can we all become more like good soil? I think we can. We just have to do the right things. So do the right things. Spend time in prayer. Spend time with your family. Spend time in God's word. Join us on Easter, April 12th. Because the definition of good soil is, is the person who impacts other people for Jesus. It, it, it's the person that what God puts in them becomes a harvest for others. And, and I think the right way to do that is just invite your friends to uh, what God's doing digitally on Easter. More people will see Easter services and messages this year than any year in the history of the world. I guarantee it because of the technology we have and just this that we're sharing. You share this with others. So in Mark 4, it talks about four soils. Which one are you? And are you okay with that? Or do you want to do some things to, to improve your soil, become better soil, good soil? Thanks for watching this. Share it with a friend. Hope to see you soon.